These asteroids are the ones to worry about. Are you worried about asteroids hitting the Earth? Well, you should be. In this video, we're taking a closer look at the asteroids that pose the greatest threat to our planet. These asteroids are the ones you need to keep an eye on, and we'll tell you why. From their size and speed to their potential impact zones, we'll cover everything you need to know about these space rocks that could change life as we know it. And be sure you subscribe to Space Story so you never miss a secret from our space again. Okay, well now, let's move on. If you've been having nightmares about an asteroid hitting Earth, we have some information that might make them more realistic. According to a recent study, the most likely way that a lethal space rock will kill you is either through strong winds that will throw you against something solid or through powerful shock waves that will rupture your internal organs. This is the first study that looks at all seven impact effects generated by hazardous asteroids and estimates which are, in terms of human loss, most severe, lead author Clemens Romfey, senior research assistant at the University of Southampton in the United Kingdom, said in a statement. Using computer models, Rumpf and his colleagues simulated 50,000 asteroid impacts across the world. The scientists said that the space rocks involved in these artificial impacts were between 15 and 400 meters wide and between 50 and 1,300 feet wide. This size range is the one that hits Earth the most frequently. After that, the group came up with an estimate for the proportion of fatalities that could be attributed to each of the seven effects that Rumpf had mentioned. Cratering, seismic shaking, shock waves, wind blasts, heat, flying debris, and tsunamis. Wind and shock waves together were responsible for more than 60% of all fatalities that occurred as a result of the disaster. According to the findings of the study, wind blasts were significantly more destructive than shock waves, despite the fact that both effects act together. Nearly a third of the fatalities were caused by the scorching heat of the impact, while the majority of the remaining deaths were caused by tsunamis. According to the research, the other three effects were responsible for a negligible portion of the total number of fatalities. For example, the maximum contribution that could be attributed to flying debris was only 0.91%, while the percentages attributed to cratering and seismic shaking were, respectively, 0.2% and 0.17%. In addition, Rumpf and his associates came to the conclusion that asteroid collisions with land are approximately 10 times more likely to result in fatalities. In addition, they discovered that the width of a space rock must be at least 59 feet, or about 18 meters, in order for it to be fatal. This lower limit is roughly equivalent to the size of the object that exploded above the city of Chelyabinsk in Russia in February of 2013, causing a shockwave that shattered countless windows on the ground below. More than 1,000 individuals sustained injuries as a direct result of flying glass shards, but no one was killed. To this day, astronomers have found more than 16,000 objects that are relatively close to Earth. On the one hand, that figure represents a negligible portion of the overall tally, which is speculated to be in the millions. The majority of the nearby asteroids that pose a risk to human civilization if they strike Earth are believed to have been discovered by scientists. These monsters have a diameter of at least one kilometer and none of them pose a threat in the near future. However, there are still a great many hazardous rocks moving around out there that have not been discovered. According to Rumpf, the Earth is struck by a rock or an asteroid that is at least 1,300 feet wide once every 100,000 years on average and by an asteroid that's at least 190 feet wide every 1,500 years. Researchers from all over the world are investigating potential strategies for preventing asteroid collisions and, consequently, avoiding the associated dangers. The majority of incoming space rocks that are detected with decades of lead time could probably be nudged away from Earth using gravity tractors and kinetic impactor probes, according to the findings of various scientific studies. While kinetic impactors would slam into space rock, gravity tractors would fly alongside a potentially hazardous asteroid for extended periods of time. On the other hand, a nuclear bomb might be necessary in order to deal with massive comets or asteroids that are only discovered a few weeks or months before they could potentially impact Earth. 
To begin with, we are almost certainly going to be fine. That being said, the coming months are shaping up to be quite interesting for those who keep an eye on the numerous asteroids and other near-Earth objects or NEOs whipping around our corner of space above our heads. The European Space Agency keeps a risk list of near-Earth objects which it defines as a catalog of all objects for which a non-zero impact probability has been computed. Over the next year, nine of the more than 1,400 objects on this list are scheduled to pass close to our planet, including the one with the highest overall risk and the one with the fourth highest overall risk. That's a lot of statistical drama, even if the chances of any actual impact are less than 0.005% or 1 in 50,000. Asteroid 2001 VB, a potentially hazardous asteroid roughly the size of the Golden Gate Bridge, currently holds the top spot on the risk list. That's quite large for an NEO, which is why it is currently considered the most dangerous one being tracked, despite the fact that its chances of actually impacting Earth are extremely low, at around 1 in 300 million. However, if we do win the world's unluckiest lottery ticket and 2001 VB makes a direct strike on Earth during its close pass on July 23rd of this year, it could cause serious damage. It's 10 to 20 times larger than the bolide that exploded over Russia in 2013, causing a shockwave that blew out thousands of windows in Chelyabinsk. The fourth most dangerous NEO at the moment is an asteroid known as 2005 ED-224. In terms of size, this object is comparable to the Chelyabinsk bolide, but it has a slightly better chance of impact at around 1 in 500,000. Still, the chances of impact are quite low, and if it did hit, it would have to be doubly unlucky to strike near a population center in order to cause significant damage after largely burning up in the atmosphere. It's unlikely to hit us, and if it does, it'll most likely land somewhere in the ocean or wilderness. But it's not impossible that it'll make headlines on March 11th when it's due for a close pass. There are currently seven other NEOs on the list that will make a close approach to Earth in the next 12 months. All of them are smaller than the Chelyabinsk bolide and would almost certainly burn up completely or almost completely if they did impact. At 1 in 55,000, the smallest one on the list, about 2 meters across, has the highest chance of impact. If you're keeping score, the next close pass from this list will be Asteroid 2008 EL68 on February 26th. It's about 10 meters across and has a 1 in 10 million chance of colliding. One final point to consider. The EAS risk list, as well as the observations and data that populate it, are always changing. New NEOs are discovered, rocket to the top of the risk rankings, and then plummet as more observations provide a more complete picture of their orbital paths. Each item on the list is also assigned a Torino scale rating. This is a ranking used to assess the overall risk and assist scientists and communicators in determining how serious a threat is in order to inform public communications. That's all for now, but if you're interested in learning more about the future asteroid strike, you can follow the link in the description box. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more mind-blowing discoveries. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an opportunity to unlock the mysteries of the universe. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive and continue to wonder at the marvels of space. Farewell, fellow stargazers.